Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 13, verses 10 to 13, straight to it. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bent over and could no wise straight raise herself up. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. Now tomorrow we're going to look more at the reaction of the of towards this. But today, just, just these few verses. So he's teaching. It's the Sabbath. He knows that this is going to stimulate trouble. If he does any healing on the Sabbath, that's going to... Uh, there's some people present who will lose their mind. And so, and nevertheless, there's a woman there. She's all bent over, and Jesus sees her. And he's, has, he's taken by such compassion for her that he says to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he touches her, and immediately she's made straight. I like it when Jesus straightens somebody out. A lot of times we think about straightening out, you know, ver with a verbal uh, uh, teardown, you know, but Jesus doesn't do that. Jesus comes and lays hands on her, and he heals her, and she stands up as straight as, she, as can be. And, of course, this leads to trouble we'll talk about tomorrow. But Jesus just has compassion. And when Jesus sees you and he sees me, and he sees us bent over and, and worn out from all the, all the weight of the world coming down upon us. And all those things that we begin to become stressful about, when Jesus sees that, what does he do? He, 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 he wants us to be loosed from our infirmities. He wants to help us be straightened up. Hey, we can live for God in this crazy period of time. We can be calm. We can have God's peace. We can have God's joy. In fact, it's his design that we would experience joy. Not hedonistic happiness, but joy. We can have some happiness, but God's gift to us is joy. And it can be true for us no matter what setting we're in. And so today, friend, I want, I want that for you. He wants that for you. He wants to loosen you from your infirmity. Let's allow him to do it. Let's go to the word, get some of those Bible promises and lay hold on the truth that God loves you and he wants what's good for you. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, you are so good. Uh, now, we have departed from you and we're coming back. So bless us, Lord, and help us. Straighten us out, Lord, in, in all the different ways we need straightening. Straighten us out. You'll know the timing and the way to approach us. Help us, Lord. We're just flesh. We don't want to be crushed. You don't want to crush us. But straighten us out and help our hearts to be ready for the things of intensity that are coming in this year and in the years immediately ahead before Jesus comes. We don't know how long that'll be, but may we, may we use this time wisely to prepare, prepare our hearts, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, friend, let your heart be prepared and, and let the Lord Jesus straighten you out. His blessings be with you.